Hi, my name is Aidan Hecke and I am the Australian CEO for Decision Inc. Welcome to Episode 5, the Data and Analytics Strategy. Today I'm going to take you through what is it and how do we make it relevant for your business, how to develop and adopt a data and analytics strategy, taking a practical example for you to consider. What is a data and analytics strategy? There are two parts to the strategy. And if we take the house analogy again, one would never consider building a house without understanding the outcome that is required from the building of the house. And a data and analytics strategy helps lay out that outcome that is required. It understands the complex questions at a business level. What is the business strategy, the definition of success and the plan to get there? What is the technology and digital strategy that enables the business strategy? And what are the priorities? Complex questions for any business. It also answers the simple questions. What can we do with our data? How do we accelerate the business strategy? What are our industry leaders and competitors doing with their data and how do we win? What responsibilities do we have? compliance and security, and how do we achieve it? Aligning our people, our processes, and our technology to achieve the outcomes of the data and analytics strategy. Why is it relevant? Digital transformation needs data and analytics excellence. Boards are accelerating their investment in digital, particularly with the emergence of post-COVID. As organizations race to bring their physical businesses to a digital platform. Information analytics and big data is considered one of the top four priorities for all organizations and digital transformation is number one and they are very, very closely linked. Without a successful analytics strategy, it is going to be increasingly difficult for CEOs to realize their digital transformation. What we see across different business industries is varying levels of success. And data and analytics maturity is holding back business transformation efforts. Most organizations are still in that deliver, design and ambition phase when they have aspirations to be in the scale and refine and breaking through the barrier of digital transformation. It's important to understand that without a digital transformation on track with a data and analytics strategy, it is going to be increasingly difficult for these industries to be successful. They will continue to be vulnerable to new entrants with digital business models. How do you make a data and analytics strategy relevant? There are two avenues that businesses are pursuing when they are having a data driven transformation. The first is growth drivers. Typically, how do I improve demand generation? Am I going to enter new markets? What customer experience do I need to engender to ensure that I have loyalty and growth? And what value added products and services can I develop? The second aspect to it is efficiency. How do I drive process efficiency? How do I improve the utilization of the assets that I've deployed? How do I increase the overall agility of the organization and respond to changing markets? COVID has taught us that that agility is crucial for success. And how do I change my business model? All of these require strong data and analytics practice and strategy sitting underneath it. In a practical example, how does data drive process improvement and opportunity realization? Let's look at the retail value chain. There are a number of primary activities, inbound logistics, operations, outbound logistics, marketing and sales and customer service. And within each of these functions, we have sub activities, all of which need data to drive them. For example, in inbound logistics, how do you know that your transport vendors are performing adequately? Are they delivering your products on time and helping you meet your customer promise? In marketing and sales, is your product pricing appropriate? Is it on a parity or better if you are seeking some sort of competitive advantage? And most importantly, in this current environment is customer service. Are your loyalty programs working well? How is your acquisition and retention strategy progressing? All of which need data-driven competencies sitting underneath it to be successful. So how do you implement a data and analytics strategy? You must understand that there are some very core components to it. 
understanding what your baseline and your uh, current maturity level is and what your ambition needs to be. What is the platform of choice for you? Which hyperscale provider, Google, Amazon, Microsoft Azure, would you like to use? Where's your people capability, both in terms of your data and analytics teams and also your business users that are making data driven decisions once you have all the elements in place. And finally, your adoption. What analytics are you using to measure your adoption and the benefits realization? At Decision Inc, we believe it's important for you to focus on the outcomes first and what drives value when building out your analytics strategy. Taking an incremental approach to delivering that value to your organizations. Thank you. That brings episode five to a close. We look forward to hearing from you in episode six.